welcome back to my channel researchers i hope you guys are doing well so in last video we have discussed like what is the meaning of research design along with that we have discussed all the types of quantitative research designs right so if you want to study about the quantitative research designs in detail i will provide you the link in the description box you can go and check yourself and in the current video we are going to talk and discuss about qualitative research designs right now briefly explaining you what is the qualitative research design that means this is subjective in nature right what do you mean by subjective that it varies from person to person who collects and analyzes the data right no statistical tools or uh, results are possible right another thing is that you collect data in form of images recording interviews and so on and so forth right so that means qualitative data is any type of data or research that cannot be measured in terms of numbers so let's continue and discuss different types of qualitative research design so the very first research design under qualitative research design is the grounded study now what happens in this is that we try to develop the theories out of the empirical studies right whatever empirical studies or research is available we try to develop the theory out of it so this is the meaning of the grounded theory now example over here could be that if researcher wants to know that how people adopt a certain app what he can do is that he can go and collect his data okay and then analyze the pattern what is the pattern and then he will try to develop a theory about how people adopt that app so whenever from empirical results some theory is being developed this is known as your grounded theory clear okay so next uh, method is that observational okay so next research design is the observational research design so this is the most common right uh, i hope there's no need to explain that what is the meaning of observation that you all already know okay so in this what happens is that the researcher observes the behavior or phenomena to record them rather than conducting any experiment we simply go and observe the behavior pattern or phenomenon right now the example over here is that observing the behavior of pedestrians on the zebra crossing like what all the pedestrians do on zebra crossing whether they wait for the traffic or they simply cross so on and so forth right okay so next type of research design is the case study over here what a researcher does is that he studies and analyzes the real world situation to understand and evaluate the past problems and solutions so we study about one particular problem and then try to solve it right the example could over here be to study the cost cutting strategy of xyz company all right in case study we take only generally one problem say of one company we are taking problem of one company over here we are going to study about this very company in case we are studying about the cost we are going to see cost we are going to see the revenue 
we are going to see the profitability everything will be there in the case study next research design is the thematic analysis over here the patterns are being observed with that of the data that has already been collected in the past example let's understand this with the help of an example now what happens is a researcher examines different interview transcripts to identify common themes that was held previously to understand which topics are important and what is the pattern that was followed in the previous interviews right thematic is that you try to analyze the previous patterns from the data that has already been collected in the past research next type of research design is the discourse analysis over here what is done is that that is done through languages and social context used in data gathering in the qualitative research right example over here is the identifying ideological framework and viewpoints of writers of series of policies that means you are analyzing what languages and ideas etc in discourse analysis now the last research design for today is your action research this is cyclic in nature which starts from planning acting observing and reflecting now what is the meaning it says that you identify the problem and you simultaneously find the solution okay example could be that there is a teacher okay she has two methods of teaching say method a of teaching and method b she applies both the methods in class and then she interprets or analyzes which method is more which method is more beneficial for the students right so that is it for today guys i hope you have learned something if yes then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day